Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve one of the medium problems from today's leak code contest. Find the kth largest integer in the array. And you know, the really funny thing about this problem is that we literally solved the exact same problem three days ago. I'm not even kidding. Three days ago, we uploaded it, except it's called kth largest element in the array, even though, you know, all the elements in that array were also integers. So this is pretty much the exact same problem. When we solved the problem, we used quick select, which is an O of N average time algorithm. So today I'll be solving the problem a different way, but I will have a link to this video in the top right corner if you do want to check it out. So like I said, we solved this with quick select, which is an O of N average time algorithm, but it's actually N squared when it comes to worst case uh, time complexity. So let's solve one that has a better worst case time complexity. Let's solve it with a different solution. So the kth largest integer in the array. So the most straightforward way would be to, uh, one thing is basically these are strings. So we'll have to, of course, convert them into integers. That's pretty easy, at least in Python and most languages, probably it's easy to convert string to an integer. It'll never be a negative integer and it won't ever have leading zeros unless it's the integer zero itself. So we can take an array of integers and turn it into a heap with an algorithm called heapify. This algorithm is a linear time algorithm from what I know. So that's easy. And then once we have that, right, we did a linear time operation. Then we want to keep popping. Uh, well, this is going to be a max heap, right? Because we want to find the kth largest. So with a max heap, we're going to keep popping values until we've popped k values. The kth value that we pop is going to be the one that we end up returning uh, in this case it's three, right? So if, let's say K is four, right? So we pop the largest, which is 10. Then we pop the next largest, seven, then six, and then three, right? The fourth one, the Kth one is the one that we're going to return. So uh, what's the time complexity of this solution going to be? Well, popping from a heap of size N is going to be a log N operation. That's the point of a heap, right? It's efficient at doing that, but we're going to have to do it K times, right? So this is going to be the time complexity. Of course, K could be really big or K could be really small. So this obviously is a better worst time uh, complexity than N squared, which is the quick select, but the average case is not as good as quick select, which is going to be N, but this isn't such a bad solution. If you want to see the quick select solution, you can can definitely watch the other other video that I made but let's do the heap solution for now the good thing about the heap solution actually is that it takes less lines of code so you know if you want to do this quickly probably do the heap solution so first things first let's actually create our heap so remember it's gonna be a max heap now let's do some Python magic let's go through every single num in this array nums and we know it's gonna be a string so let's actually convert that number that string into an integer uh, the thing about Python though is it doesn't have uh, max heaps so we'll have to implement this by changing the values to negative uh, to basically simulate a max heap, that's fine because in this case, all the values are going to be uh, positive in this case. So it'll be straightforward for us. So we'll change each of these values to negative so that when we pop a value, we're actually popping the max value because this in Python, it's going to be a min heap. So now this is just an array so far with all those values. To convert it into a heap, you can do that in Python like this, heap q .heapify. This is a linear time algorithm. Uh, it turns it into a heap. It basically orders the list into the format of a heap. And now, uh, while k is greater than 1, we're going to keep popping from it. Why? Because it's greater than 1? Because at the end, what we're going to do is pop not pop the value, but we're going to we're going to return the whatever value happens to be at the top of the heap. So whatever value happens to be at index zero, which is the top of the heap in Python. And the way they want us to actually return it is to return it as a string. So first, I'm going to change this back because remember, we turned all values to negative. So I'm going to put a negative sign to turn it back into a positive value. And then I'm going to convert it back into a string because that's the format that they want us to return. So now we need to pop all the other values that we don't want to return. We want to return the kth largest. So let's keep popping. Heap q dot heap pop from the max heap. And we've done that. And don't forget to decrement k. You don't want to get stuck in an infinite loop. So that is the entire solution. Definitely a lot less lines than quick select. I'll run it to make sure that it works. And let's scroll down. Yep, it was accepted. So... I hope that this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. It supports the channel a lot, and I'll hopefully see you pretty soon.
Thanks for watching.